Alrighty, so I'm doing a little fragrance vignette for you. This is a fragrance. I bought five fragrance mists when they had the sale. And this is one that I've decided I can call already. So I'm doing a little quick review for you before I return it. Do first question since I am returning it is do I like the scent? I actually love the scent, but I, I am not going to be a fragrance hoarder. And I determined that at this time, um, I prefer the golden hour because it speaks to the smell of California. Whereas this lakeside, I wanted it last year and I wasn't able to get it. Um, and I would like to purchase it at a later time after I use uh, some of my other fragrances, but I don't want to be a hoarder. They came out with, they had five wonderful fragrances. And um, so I am going to take this one back because I can't use five uh, fragrance mist a month. And my fragrance collection is already significant. And I have a fragrance that most people didn't like, but I liked, which was called Kaleidoscope, which I find to have be a simmery, a sim, has, it, it serves a similar purpose in my wardrobe. And in fact, I think the Kaleidoscope is more efficient because the Kaleidoscope is a nondescript air freshener scent that has an iris based and it blends with everything. And this is an air freshener scent that's maybe a little bit more dominant. It, it definitely smells like a lake. I don't get the citrus on me, but um, it's just, it's not something that for me right now, I put the fragrance on the cap for me right now, although this is a beautiful fragrance, the golden hour has my heart. Um, it smell, it's a wonderful smell of water. The citrus notes takes on a kind of woodsy format for it. It's a great fragrance. I like it. It's strong. I don't find it to be weak. Um, the scent notes are autumn air, citrus zest, and sparkling water. The water note is a dominant note for me, and that is why I like this scent. Yeah, I love the water note to it. It's just very, um, but it's it smells American to me. Like, I wouldn't think I was in Europe or even in the Caribbean. This smells like Michigan in the 80s and the reason why I say that is because our water systems aren't what they used to be back when the lakes of Michigan were pristine and we aren't we weren't so Americans weren't so addicted to plastic um, this is what a lake used to smell like and it's beautiful it's a beautiful scent I can see myself wearing this both in the summertime, right now, or in the um, fall season. It's a great transition. I can even see it as a spring scent because, you know, you go to the lake all year long. It doesn't smell like a frozen lake, but I like it, and um, I would highly recommend it. I don't like this packaging. This is a unisex scent, so this packaging gives that away. If you gave this to a man, they wouldn't think, oh, you're giving me something that's for a woman. The packaging looks very, 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 very um, masculine, in my opinion. Now, as the fragrance goes on, I'm smelling a little bit of that citrus zest coming through. And the citrus is a unique citrus. It's smelling like the rind of a citrus vegetable, uh, not vegetable, but citrus fruit that I use in fruitcakes that nobody uses any other way. So um, that's unique too. 
So I like the fragrance. I like it a lot, but I'm just trying my best not to be a hoarder. And I, I use, I use more fragrance mist than most people. I use two to five a month. So I figure if it's still there at that time, I will pick up another one. You know, I will pick up one. But for right now, I am going to go with um, my three favorites and return the extras. So that's all I got to say. I really like it. It's a great scent. I would like to have it, but I'm not going to be a hoarder. So this, out of the five fragrances that I got in my haul, I am wearing the others. I am not reaching for this one. So therefore, I am not going to hold on to it at this time. If you see me purchasing it at another haul, it is because, as I told you, I like the scent. But I just don't want to be a hoarder. And I think five mists are excessive. Um, I, can use th I can use five a month. But I have an extensive collection, and I may not use five a month in the summertime. So I know I'll use three. So um, I'm culling all but three of these to what is reasonable for me. So there it is. There's my um, assessment. I did wear it. Oh. This is long lasting. It lasts on me eight hours. It can be very strong on me if there's some humidity in the air. So if you're in a place where it's a little bit more humid, I found it to be a stronger scent. Because it is something that's common, some people may be agnostic to it and tell you that it's not strong, but other people are gonna smell this very strongly on you. And it reminds me of a deodorant so when I smell it it smells like a secret deodorant scent to me you know that deodorant scent is fresh it's clean all that and they love to have watery scents and all that so that's another reason I feel like I could just use a deodorant and get this scent and that's nice it's a great work scent um, you're gonna smell fresh and clean if you, it's a great scent to wear to the gym or, you know, as, as basically the purpose is to be a body freshener. So, yeah, I wish I had got the bottle last year. This, I, I like the, the scenes. This one is, it's just so masculine, you know, I, I don't like the bottle for me. Maybe it'll grow on me, but, um, yeah, okay. So that's my review. It's a great fragrance, but I'm not wearing it right now, and I'm trying to be strong and just buy what I'm wearing for the fall, and then at the next time I purchase, I will go back, and if this one is more prominent for me than the others, then I'll get it at that time. Emmanuel, God is with